What's going on guys, it's the Left Handed Monkey and welcome to another edition of The Monkey Paints and today we're going to paint Jack Rye and Sheridan and who better to explain these two characters than the man who created them himself who has a very, very interesting name. His email had one name, then he introduced me as another name and then he, well I don't know, was it like three names that you want to be called by? Well Mr. Hayes Shuda? That's right. Okay, well, that's exactly right. Hey, Shooter. Yeah. Okay, I see you spell. That's your last name, then, huh, Shooter? That's right. Yep, that's just my last name. Straight out of Syria. Syria. You're Syrian. Uh, half. Half Syrian, half something with a red hair, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> something else with red hair. All right. I see you get they they in Syria. They like to add an extra H for some reason. Uh, I guess so. I just need that little breath, I guess. Uh, see, that's how you Syrians shoot. <laughs> Something like that, right? Yeah. Anyways, congratulations on the awesome name. Thank you. Yeah. My real name is pretty awesome, but I'm not going to say it on the air. But you saw it on my email, so. Yeah, Any it's, a, it's a little secret between us. Yeah, it's a secret, you know, just because of all those serial killers. Now, you're from Canada, right? That's right. Yes. You know, that's, but, that's where serial killers go to retire, right? Oh, wonderful. Yes. I'll be yeah. seeing you around then. What? <laughs> Is that an <laughs> accusation? But you also live in a place called Yellowknife. Yep. That sounds like exactly where they're just going to go straight to. So you better watch your back. Lock your doors. I know you guys are trusting over there, but be careful. Tells you, <laughs> we don't want to lose another uh, great artist in this world. You yourself, you guys, you came up with this, these characters on your own, and you actually did uh, comic books like sort of like a comic version of them, right? Yeah, a bit of a comic series here and there. Uh, just I, testing the waters with them. I do. I read them. And uh, you want to tell the people where they could actually read these comics? They'll get a better idea of who these characters are before you explain them. Uh, well, you can catch them on my DeviantArt page uh, at uh, shoot, shoot a, uh, at DeviantArt. You can just punch it in Google. S-H-O-U-H-D-A, and I'll be right at the top. All right, so now getting into Jack Rye as a character, how did you come up with Jack? Well, uh, Jack Rye was actually a little bit of a, a homage to Steve Irwin at the time because okay. uh, it was a, uh, not, uh, it was a little while after Steve Irwin passed and I wanted to make a, like a, an outback, outgoing character. So I, I whipped up a, an Aussie-based uh, kind of adventurer so all right yes he is very australian i could tell by that and he got he got but i'm a fan he got like um little packs everywhere on him i'm a fan of the fanny pack i think <laughs> it's a necessity but people think it's tacky but it's awesome and jack doesn't seem to have a problem with that and he's as manly as they come i'm sure so <laughs> now so we're looking at sheridan now i think by the time this the, the painting, we should get an idea of what Sheridan looks like, and she's kind of like a human slash giant anaconda. Yeah, she's uh, she's actually not from the same place as Jack, where Jack's from. She's right. from an entirely different dimension, where the everyone's just kind of half animal, half half uh, humanoid-ish, you know. Right. So she she is not from the same place, and in the setting that's not an abnormal thing right <laughs> so there's other characters that you will eventually create and just and, and the, that'll be half man half something else oh yes yes and you thought snake was the sexiest one right uh it's definitely one of the more popular ones uh if i really wanted to hit the popularity i would have done a cat right right you know half, right. half of those cute cat girls i did a <laughs> painting like that once as a commission <laughs> uh, but uh, so now the purpose of these characters and well actually we should talk about Jack Rye being in the video game Skullgirls right oh yeah that is actually a big thing because he is in there um, not as a playable character I assume right no he's, he's, uh, he's he can be found in the background at the River King Casino uh, as one of the lineups he's right in the middle of, one, of the stage oh yeah for sure I'm gonna show the video in the video and then uh, people can get an idea of where Jack is actually standing. So how did you actually get Jack in the game? Uh, well, actually, it all started with a Kickstarter thing because uh, the Skullgirls guys wanted to expand on the game. 
And uh, I'm a big fighting game fan, and Skullgirls has the best fighting game engine I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to support that, so I, I poured some funds in there. And, uh, you know, when you so, with one of those Kickstarter things, you put some funds in there, and uh, they give you some perks, right? You, you know, they throw a little something back at you, and one of the things they threw back at me is uh, I could put uh, a character of my choosing into the, the background. Uh, that, that is pretty awesome. So I, I'm assuming Jack Rye is right there next to your heart, I am sure. A character that you created from scratch, because I've created some characters, then they're close to my heart, I think. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're fickled people, artists. I mean, once we come with the next great character, I think uh, that'll be our new love or whatnot. Let me see. What else can we talk about here about this painting? I mean, um, I remember reading about Jack and Sheridan, and they do have uh, an interesting relationship. So why are they on the same painting as each other? How about we go there? Uh... Well, the two are the closest, uh, are official partners. Uh, they, they, the kind of adventures they go on is the kind you normally don't come back from, but they keep coming back because uh, <laughs> they're, they're kind of good at what they do. Uh, and uh, so she, like I said, she wasn't from the same world, but she winds up kind of getting adopted into Jack's family due to some, uh, some dreadful past uh experience uh, which costed her parents and uh, so you know she stumbled across Jack's family and he brings her into the fold and that's where uh, where they kind of grew up became adventurous together <laughs> right and um, as I was reading I get the impression that Sheridan had a little bit of crush on Jack is that true uh, yeah well uh, she was found when she was four years old right so mm -hmm. snake years Right. Yeah, uh, she not the same lifespan as humans. So, uh, but uh, being that uh, she's not human, she sees things very differently than how we would. And uh, step step siblings does not exist. And uh, they're so as far as she's concerned, they are not related. But us humans, we when you adopt someone, they're part of the family, right? Right. Your mom won't bring you a little sister and hoping you get in cahoots with her. <laughs> <laughs> cahoots being the. The, the the nice word yes. for for basically incest mentally mental incest because it's not really incest it's, that that's right mental incest society that's the best way you can put it <laughs> okay this is what this is my first time dealing with I guess say another artist when doing a thing and I must tell you that you you tickled me to death when you asked me to make this painting because finding out that you're an artist also I mean what better compliment is there right mm -hmm. to have another artist come to you and say hey can you make me a painting i'm just like whoa you know and then later you said okay i want to make you a picture too and this well i'm going to show them the picture right now this is the picture that you made me and it really it blew me away when i when i got the email back i'm like okay here we go you know stick figure with a tail on it right because i want <laughs> i wanted a monkey hey that doesn't sound too bad <laughs> right if done properly yes <laughs> but um and that blew me away and I was just like okay this guy's legit and uh, he seems to be very you know into the arts and uh, well there's a, a certain level of excitement that I could tell by the email you know like and and plus you did this deviant art page for your characters and stuff like that is hey, you love your stuff you know you love your characters and I think that's very um, what do you call that honorable you know Mm -hmm. Do this for the love of it, because obviously, you know, it's probably not generating much income, if any, right? It's, not yet. It's, yeah, it's something that you do, and uh, hey, that's how we all begin. So, so, but here, I want to tell the people how dealing with you is as another artist. Every time I sent this man an update on a painting, he would send it right back with all these marks like <laughs> this should be smaller that should be bigger her hair should be longer you know his feet is is what too big his his arm is too big <laughs> you <know? laughs> but you know it it was it was awesome to deal with it in that way you know even though i felt like i was back in elementary school and the teacher was hitting me you know for doing things wrong but oh you picky bastard leave yeah. me alone and let me paint <laughs> <laughs> but hey they were your characters they were your babies you know and 
I was just babysitting him. That's what I viewed myself as doing. And you don't want to get your baby back with a messed up face. So that's <laughs> it's just how uh, I viewed it. And hey, I want you to smile like uh, Magic Johnson when this whole project is done, you know? Oh, yeah. We don't need you to smile like uh, Donald Sterling, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. If you know what I mean. But um, I have it up on my wall. I'm just kind of looking at it as we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It was up on my wall for a while, too. And parting with work is always something. Well, see, you're you're a digital artist, yes. That's right. So you don't really have to part with your work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you probably got the same copy of this monkey in the forest painting a banana as I do. That's but right. When I got when when I send you a painting, yeah, it does it does it does hurt just a little. You know. What I mean? <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like what I said when I uh, when I first actually asked for the commission. You know, I was mm-hmm. uh, I, I said I said to Monkey, you know, uh, that I have a high high respect for all the traditionals out there, for people that actually buy you know the materials and then they execute it. Because you know, as a digital artist, we have a special we have two special buttons called Control Z. <laughs> and for for you digital artists out there and anyone who uses software, that's just an undo button. But when you're painting something, I mean, what you what you put down there, it, it, just to undo it, it takes so much. Yeah, it does take a lot of time and you a know? lot of cursing that you yeah. never hear me on the on my videos because I take out the sound to speed it. But yes, there's a lot of cursing. Yeah, because when, when, when I when I sent you the feedback, you know, I'd be like, mm, like just how far you know should i like i, I hesitated every time i said <laughs> feedback i'm like i know exactly what this guy has to go through because uh i i too had to paint with acrylics and all these other paint methods oh yeah if i was dealing with acrylics because they dry really fast yeah. i uh, i don't like acrylic at all mm-hmm. tis the reason why i go with oil but oil has its own love hate relationship too so yeah many a times i've dropped my painting and just smeared it on my elbow i'm like fuck <laughs> I was like, God damn. But um, anyway, so they can find you at Deviant Art, and uh, or as you said, Google them and just put Shooter, right? Yeah, you'll find me. At Deviant, you go check out the comics I did. It's it's a very interesting comic. I mean, if you like, if you if you if you're a fan of big boobs, that's where you go, right? Shooter. Oh yeah, for, oh that series, yeah, that's that's uh-huh. awesome too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't limit myself to anything. It goes. <laughs> and. It, it, and yeah. The fans appreciate you for it, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> people want what they want. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I appreciate you coming on all the way from Canada. Yeah, this is going to make my editing job a lot easier. Instead of talk, me talking about your characters, you get to talk about your characters. And I think people could feel the sincerity. So, uh, I am the left-handed monkey. That was Hayes. If you appreciate his art, go check him out. If you guys want your own uh, custom commission piece just like Hayes did, just contact me at thelefthandedmonkey at gmail.com and I'll hit you back with the details and hopefully we'll work something out. So, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.